Hey guys, my name is Ray. I'm going to show you the uh, strong arms that I've been talking about on the forum to combat possible stress cracks that everybody's talking about. There we go. Turn the little body upside down. Okay, here are the strong arms. I purchased them from uavbits.net. Uh, and the guy's name is Gary. He's a very nice guy. Will help you with uh, any questions that you may have. The set is $24. Comes with four of these strong arms and all the screws. The screws are hex and not uh, Torx like the uh, OEMs are. The, the motor sc uh, screws are hex 2 mil and the shell screws are hex 1.5. So make sure you have the right keys before you do this. Basically put it upside down, take the uh, six screws out. As a side note, I don't use magnetic screwdrivers or uh, Torx drivers or anything magnetic around this guy. Basically the compass is there and uh, it probably will be okay, but I just don't like using anything magnetic around it. So anyway, take all the screws out, put this guy on, very easy, just pop it on. Put the four screws back in for the motor and the two for the shell. The OEMs did have Loctite on it, but I didn't have any Loctite that works around plastic. The standard blue Loctite will eat plastic. So if you use that and you get any around the screw wells, it is going to melt it and your item will be rendered useless. I didn't use any Loctite. If I did have the special Loctite for plastic, yes, I would use it, but I didn't have it. So I finger tightened them. You don't want to over tighten them as you will crack it. Finger tighten them and then at the end of the day, after all the flights, I'll, I double check all these screws religiously. If any has come slightly loose, then I finger tighten it again. Um, so pop the screws out. Put this guy on, put the screws in, that's the end of it, really quick. If you do use these, you cannot use uh, uh, the prop guards. Prop guards come with their own uh, uh, mounting bracket. Their mounting bracket is made of plastic, these are carbon fiber. Since I don't use prop guards, I went with these. If I want to use prop guards, if I, then I couldn't use these. So, keep that in mind. Let me also tell you, I got the uh, gimbal guard, again carbon fiber, again from the same place, uavbits.net, very easy to pop in, it has two slits here that go inside the landing gear, and then if you like, you can put a couple of zip ties. I also purchased camera support, again carbon fiber, comes with these pins, retaining pins, as you can see. Very easy to snap on and snap off. You don't have to keep using your OEMs where you have to cut it off, throw it out and use new ones and eventually run out. Uh, now the set comes with two of those retaining pins. If you're the type that likes to uh, put those pins in every hole, you can purchase an extra set of those retaining pins. Everything put together takes probably less than uh, 15 minutes very easy. I also I'm going to show you I have this uh, DJI hard pack um, uh, Backpack and because of the gimbal guard the bird wouldn't fit in here because of these walls around the gimbal so I just uh, Marked where the gimbal guard goes and I just cut it out And the bird fits in just fine There you go. If you have any questions, you can email me at rayrockney at gmail.com. That is R-A-Y-R-O-K-N-I at gmail.com. Or you can find me on the forum. Thank you. Everybody be safe.